It was a beautiful day for Powell River's annual trash bash. A day to clean up illegally dumped garbage and bring in your own. Yeah, we're just out here cleaning up the uh, bush today. We've got about 12 quads out here. This is some of the stuff we've picked up so far within a, about an hour. A lot of stuff in the bush out here that people just leave behind. As you can see, all the stuff we find, uh, you know, anything from fridges, stoves, couches, and household garbage. You know, and uh, we've even got Snoopy or whatever his name up on the bank here with Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, I mean, who would dump Winnie the Pooh, eh? People should look after their stuff, you know, and there's no reason for dumping a lot of stuff in the bush, you know. Like today, you can take anything you want to Willington Beach and uh, it's free to dump. So why put it in the bush, you know, for other people to clean up? started with a couch and then it's, it's sort of a place where some people just put their their garden waste but then a couch came and then after a couch a couple of tires and then after that a couple of old chairs so we decided with this opportunity here let's get rid of all of it and then it won't look like oh there's something we can add to so that part's done yeah we have the sea cadets and the army cadets out here today yeah, so we've got a total of about 17 cadets between the two corps. Yeah, it's great. Absolutely, yeah, no, it's part of their program, is community service. Tell me, how's the day been going so far? It's work, you know. This is the funnest one because you just throw random things. Like, we had to be forced to take a break, me and him. Hard work. <laughs> yeah. It's beautiful to see the community come together, clean up together, and then celebrate together. We've had about 80 cars come through already and filled up some shipping containers with uh, mixed waste. But maybe the most exciting part is that we're diverting things from the waste stream through our free store and um, having the community come together. Well, we just see so much stuff getting thrown out that really has value, so we want to give it a second life. So we're scavenging things from the waste, and we're also asking people when they bring stuff in if it's reusable, and then we're just making a space for it. We're displaying it like a free store, and people are coming and taking it all home. The idea of a permanent free store appears to make good business sense. Economically speaking, this would be a benefit to all of Powell River rights, right? We would be saving money for having the higher dump fees. Currently, we're shipping our garbage 770 kilometers south at $220 a ton. Uh, it's one of the most expensive tipping fees in all of British Columbia, and so it'd be wonderful to see resources stay as local as possible. If people are still interested, um, to clean up after this date, there's of course opportunities to do that. Use the Trash Out app and find popular dump sites where you can do the collection yourself and um, gift that to your community. Um, I think it was Bill Nye the Science Guy, I'll quote, if you want to leave the world better than you found it, sometimes that means picking up other people's garbage. For Shaw TV in Powell River, I'm John McKenzie.